Okay guys, so till now you have a concept of torsion and in this video I will discuss about two problem related to your torsion. Okay, so the very first problem is quite uh, popular. You may also heard of it. That is if you have a, a chalk pencil, let's say this is your chalk pencil. Okay, and let's say you are applying a uh, a twist or indirectly I can say that a torsion like this okay and the question is why this chalk fail like this if you observe you can see that the failure plane is something like this this is helical okay so this is the failure plane now the question is why the chalk fail like this this is the first question and in the second problem i will discuss about a problem where uh, you have two set okay actually one set with varying cross section okay this is the first one and this is the second one okay and you are applying a torsion let's say the length are given like this this is b and this is a and the polar moment of inertia for this one is j a for this one this is j b okay and let's say this is support b and this is support a and you are applying a torsion like this with magnitude t0 and the question is what is the value of t a and what is the value of t b okay so this is problem number one and this is problem number two so first come to the problem number one uh, if we consider let's say uh, you are just applying the there is no crack till now okay so initially this was your chalk pencil okay and you are applying the torsion so if i cut a section let's say i am cutting this section okay just cut any section and if you simply enlarged this one okay what is the stress condition on this element this is the element and you have understand in the last lesson that in torsion there is no normal stress on the cross section only pure shear stress so here shear stress is being applied like this okay and the complementary shear stress is like this this is the complementary shear stress okay sorry initially i have drawn the wrong direction it is not the correct orientation uh, it should be something like this okay this one and this one and the complementary shear stress is acting like this this is the complementary shear stress so this is the stress condition for any element of this chalk where you have applied this torsion now here you can see that the resultant of this shear force shear stress rather not shear force is acting like this this is the resultant this is the resultant okay and this is tensile in nature and now you know that chalk okay chalk is very much weak in tension okay so that is why due to this tensile force of course it will crack here and uh, if you simply redraw this crack here 
this this one okay that is why your failure plane looks like this this is the failure in tension okay so first question is answered and now second question well let me clean this one i think this space is sufficient okay so to solve this problem i will use uh, the equation of consistent deformation if you have watched my videos related to tensile force compressive force in earlier days in that case you know what is this equation of consistent deformation and why it is required because here you can see that ta torsion at support a plus torsion at support b is equal with the net applied torsion t0 this is the only static equation available to us but the problem is here the number of unknown is 2 1 and 2 but you have one equation so it is not possible to solve this one so for that you need another equation and that equation is known as equation of consistent deformation clear and what is that the consistent deformation here is in this section here okay the angle of twist is same okay and what is angle of twist you know if initially if you uh, draw a chalk line pencil line like this before application of t0 let's say it was your line you have drawn on this set and once you have applied this torsion this line will simply twist and it will become like this one okay this okay so this is your angle of twist that is denoted normally by theta okay and here theta is expressed in terms of torsion t if you cannot remember the equation for you t is equal with g times theta divided by l times j j is the polar moment of inertia and this equation was derived for this case okay this was your applied torsion and the length was l angle of twist theta was measured with respect to this center line okay this was your theta okay so for these cases first we consider the left one then the right one so let me clear the left portion okay so for the left portion we can rewrite theta okay i am considering this portion okay so here theta a let denote this theta a and theta a is equal with theta b okay because at this point in this location this angle of twist is same so theta e first write it down theta a is coming as g times sorry uh, t a okay t a torsion at a is written as g times theta a by l what is l here l is a the length of this part a okay times j a because for left part the polar moment of inertia is j a okay and for the right part you can write it down as t b is equal with g times theta b by 
b the length is b okay times j b so from these two equation you can say that t a by t b is expressed by this formula okay that is a by a times b by j b okay this is the relation of torsion at support a and b and if you simply put any one of this into this equation replace any one okay let's say you are supposed to replace torsion b so in that case simply write that T A plus T B is written as T A times J B times A by J A times B is equal with T0 and from here you can find out T A as T0 divided by 1 plus J B times A divided by J A times B that's it. Now, if you replace T A in this equation, you will get T B also. Clear? So, that's it.